Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Clipstead, this Nordic town we're building which is super fun and you guys seem to like it almost as much as I do which is great I do appreciate that you guys leave nice feedback and comments and that you are really really active uh, with helping me figuring out stuff tuning in for streams and stuff like that it just means a lot to me that you guys like the builds I do that much Today we're going to be building three houses uh, with three diff different uh, professions. Uh, the first one we're building right now is another diagonal build which is just a pain. Uh, it just takes too much time trying to figure out all of the blocks. But it's fun and it really makes the town look better in my opinion. Um, this house here is for a small pig farm. Uh, he's gonna have three pigs for now at least. And then just a small pumpkin farm in the back as well. Uh, just some very minor uh, pig farm action going on here. I'm trying to use some cool details here and also breaking up some of the internal lines by adding another bit you can see in the front here which is not at the same angle as the rest of the build uh, which really just bre breaks it up and you can now see from above here how really cool it looks when we uh, add different angles to the building so it's not like this gridded uh, town, but it's more of a it looks like it's more of a actual town where people actually live and stuff like that You can see I'm building the pig farm now on the side uh, It's gonna be a small area kind of enclosed by a combination of stones and also this thatched fence uh, With a small cover for the pigs to live in and then in the back we're going to build a small pumpkin farm The next build we're doing is going to be a cobbler or a shoemaker. This we did on a stream and you guys were amazing helping me out how to build this uh, house here the best way possible and it was great fun and hope you guys will tune in for future streams and that you, you could check out late streams as well or check out the streams afterwards because I post them on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah that was great fun and we tried out some new techniques on this one by adding the staircase on the outside instead of the insides uh, from one of your guys' suggestions. And that's something that I think turned out pretty cool and you guys seem to like that as well. But apart from that the style is very similar. You can see I'm doing the staircase now. Trying to figure out how to do that the best way possible and we're ending up with a shape like this. And Overall, it looks super cool, and especially as you walk down the street, which we will do in the end of the episode, we're going to check out everything. So yeah, this is a cobbler uh, inside. This was very fun to do because I did a lot of research on how to actually do this. Uh, so the inside is very, very, uh, very realistic. I, I do believe so, at least uh, from all the information I could get. And the last building we're doing is a brewery. This is a bit larger than the rest of the builds. But I do think it looks cool and it's not oversized, but I had to make it this scale to actually fit all the things I needed to make a brewery, a functioning brewery, well, something that looks like a functioning brewery, because we're going to have a boiler, then we're going to have a lot of pipes bringing um, the brew everywhere, and then we're going to have a big tank on the outside to store it in and a lot of storage, and overall it's just a massive uh, interior on this build, so... Uh, yeah, I had to build it a little bit bigger, but I tried to to make the roof of the top part a little more gentle so that it doesn't uh, pike up as much as you would expect. You see here in the back we have a small balcony where you will be able to access the top of this big, big barrel where, where we're going to store some of the brewery. Uh, we're also going to have a lot of storage inside, internal storage and a boiler and pipes going everywhere. It, it looks super cool. I'm going to show you that in just a second now. And then we're doing some details on the walls here, which I think is very cool. Uh, yeah, overall I'm really happy with how this build turned out. I didn't manage to get all the interior done on this one. I'm going to do that in between the episodes, but I just want to get an episode out for you guys. So let me just build this back or done, finish it, whatever, and I'll see you in first person in, in just a bit. Okay, so I think we start off in the beginning here where we have the first houses we've built and overall the feeling atmosphere is pretty great uh, but as we walk through this um, small path or roads here it gets more 
narrow the streets get a little bit darker but still kind of has this same vibe uh, so this is the first build we did in today's episode which is on a diagonal like this i think it turned out pretty cool uh, and i like how it very just follows its path here very nicely like that um, and we have a small entrance here this is yeah you can see uh, there's some pig meat here and a small oven maybe to, to grill or barbecue the stuff but it's mostly just selling the pigs uh, that's what he does uh, they have multiplied it looks like because there's four pigs now I only do believe I only put in three of them but anyway this is the pig farm like that just a small uh, enclosure for them and we have some cabbage and kale and stuff for them to eat and in the back here we have some pumpkins uh, which you could also give to to feed the pigs but also for yourself as a small nutrition source this guy here would of course sell some of his pigs to the butcher which is just up down the line here just on the street um, in here we have a small kitchen and this is the residential area for the people living here so they have a small kitchen like that and this furnace is connected up to this fireplace so like the smoke use the same use the same chimney basically um, yeah very very simple design down here but once you go up we have a small bed and then we have a double bed right here uh, and since this is a is a, um well it's a diagonal build my throat my my mouth isn't really following my brain sometimes but this is a diagonal build and it's kind of hard to do the interiors properly but i think it turned out pretty cool uh so yeah this is a bedroom main bedroom and then we have a bed here for the child uh, it looks like they only have one in here or maybe they just likes to what did i do come on now uh get me out of here let me show you the next build which is the cobbler which is indicated by the boots on uh, the sign here so once you go in here it's basically just a small store like that you would get in here say i need some shoes in the size 10 please uh, and he would make them for you and you would come back later and buy them but you can also get in here and this is kind of the area where he works you can see there's some ladder here and he kind of stitches it up and we have an anvil to hammer in nails into the shoes and kind of shape them up uh, there's also some water here to soak the leather to make it more uh, more better to work with i guess and then an, a small furnace to keep the build warm and also to uh, heat up the ladder and stuff like that to boil it for uh, different uses like that but overall it's a pretty decent design I think and it looks kind of cool uh, we can go out to the back here this is the entrance the, um, the cobbler would use himself uh, and in the back here we have some storage like that and it's kind of just facing the other builds here which is kind of cool and you can go back here like that uh, where the uh, staircase to the upstairs is going so you can go up here like that and then we have a small kitchen area to uh, provide yourself with some food and some storage like that and then we have a double bed for uh, the people living here. So it's a very small build, but it looks kind of nice, I think. Uh, I really like the shape of it and the details and stuff like that. And it was built during the stream, so it was a lot of fun together with you guys. So yeah, generally pretty nice build, I think. Then we have the brewery and the living part or the residential area of this house is not done. It will be here and in here like that. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that in between the episode. I do believe it may be in a stream. I don't freaking know. But uh, what I can show you is like the industrial part. So uh, we can go down the, the side here along the pigs and we can go downstairs first. So we have this path going underground like this. And down here we have a big boiler um, to heat up the, um, the brew, the stuff you would need. Uh, I'm not sure how they do that, but you heat it up and then uh, it condenses and goes through, the, through these pipes here. You can see you have some coal here to heat it up and then some barrels with some of the, the things you need to boil up, I guess. Um, and then you can... Come on, let me up, thank you. Uh, up here, you can see the piping is going up like that. And all the way here, the, um, the brew cools down. We also have another fireplace here to heat up the build. Uh, but it's also here to, uh, to kind of brew a little bit more manually and smaller, smaller portions like that. And we have some storage here for final products like that. We can go up the staircase and then we have a bit of a um, like this technical part where there's a lot of cranes for lowering everything. I'm going to take you through that later. 
but here we have the pipes going all the way up and then we have a lever here so we can choose if we want to, the brew to go to these barrels here or it can go even further up into this part right here where we have some smaller barrels so it really just depends on what you want to from here uh, I'm going to show you that before I go down uh, we have an area you can move the barrels out here and then we have a crane to lower them down to this uh, level right here like that as you can see we're doing and from here you can use this crane to lower it all the way down or you can also use that to rise it up so you can pour it into this massive barrel in the middle like that for storage um, in the back here there's also some more storage of barrels like that and yeah overall pretty neat design I think uh, and this big barrel here just really makes it look like a proper brewery so I tried to do some research on how they would do it and as far as I can tell this is pretty accurate even though I don't know exactly what everything is used for um, but yeah it looks very nice I think and then we have a cart here carrying some barrels of possibly mead or ale I don't know uh, possibly mead because it's Norseman but yeah I think it turned out pretty cool and I'm looking forward to doing the interior here. Next episode is going to be a lot of fun. I do believe we're going to attack this problem of a big temple here to break it up, not just small residential houses. But that's going to be fun anyway guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo man and I'm out.